friend of mine and a good uh, good pal and a good chum, and you might know him from such classic films. Robin Hood. It's a classic. I think. I mean, we did have a small part in Robin Hood. I mean, were, uh, were Ellen, were you um, were you in that movie? I was. Thank you. I mean, I, there were other characters in that film. There's no doubt about it. But I mean, for me, the central part of that film. Was the guy the lads. <laughs> <laughs> and for our radio listeners, but if you look carefully, if you look carefully in his eyes, you you can read in his eyes. He's saying, "Holy shit, that's Kate Blanchett." <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to like, you killed some dudes. I don't know if you saw Go the movie or not, but we, uh, we <laughs> there's a scene in there. One of the only scenes we did with Kate. Are you saying Kate? Kate. Oh, oh, you love Kate. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was good fun. It was a great, what a great experience the whole thing was. It was, it was uh... You killed some dudes. <laughs> I did, I killed... It was a grand time, and we did this, this scene where, where Kate and, and Marion and. and Robin was riding on horses, and the Merry Men guys are in the, they're in this sort of a, like a wash basin, you know. We got like we're half naked, shirts on, we're all washing ourselves because we've been on the booze and that the night before and shagged the big pile of women and all this kind of stuff. Outtakes. And Marion rides in. Edit. And she says like one sentence to us and rides away, and it was like cut, and I stood up and went, I just did a top of Steve McKay punch. <laughs> The boy from Penny Harbor. I really hope she doesn't listen to CBC radio. My career in Australia is shat. <laughs> anyway, I wrote a bunch of songs with Russell's over, over the years. Oh. Over the years. And <coughs> this one was one of the. Well, it's not the first one we wrote, but it's the first one we wrote in Newfoundland. And uh, he came to Newfoundland about I don't know five or six years ago. Now we had a little party up on the back deck, and. Um, it was a big party, actually. And, uh, it was, he'd been in Toronto the whole time, uh, previous to that, shooting uh, Cinderella Man. And so he spent a lot of time in Canada. And uh, he came to Newfoundland, you know, and when I think one of the, when I put words in his mind, he said, I've just been somewhere different. So, like, I feel like I've left one country and come to another country. And, 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 well, I thought it was, you know, and then, of course, like Kim spoke of earlier, the whole process of leaving Newfoundland has been a long story, one in song, and, 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 and stories, and, and, and folklore of Newfoundland. We, we feel like we've been exporting people for years, and, and I, you know, I, I sort of tried to fill Russell and Mal, my friends, in about the history of the place, and, and talking about Joey Smallwood and about how my grandfather, until he died about seven or eight years ago, he used to say, Alan, what are you doing? You're going up to Canada? <laughs> <laughs> And I go like, I didn't have the heart to say it, you know? I didn't really have the heart to tell him. I mean, that comes off the same, in the same conversation I'll be talking to my grandmother, who'll be in the same house. She'd say, Alan, honey, still playing in the band? And I'd say, yeah, right. Not working? <laughs> Such is the life in uh, the strange and wonderful we're all from. Um, so we wrote this tune about, uh, you know, about the long uh, history of people leaving Newfoundland for work and, uh, and uh, trying to make their way home, I suppose. This is called Where I Belong. <laughs> well, Jenny said goodbye this afternoon, as far as I can tell. She can't bear the goodbye evenings or the morning after a farewell. She says, here you are, another one, to whose back I'm saying cheers. It's like a death in the family, and it's been going on for years. And so I'll cast my leaving shadow, and I'll be Canadian. But distance won't decide what matters to the hard rocks of loving sun. And when I'm thinking of St. John's, I'll bring her closer with this song. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I belong. Oh, 
don't get the old man started or I'll have to hide him from the rum if you can keep his mind from 49 will he keep having fun well it's not the kids he's cursing though I'm his third to leave he's mad at Mr. Smallwood and it's a parent's right to grieve so I'll cast my leaving shadow and I'll be Canadian but distance won't decide what matters to the hard rocks loving son and when I'm thinking of St. John's I'll bring her closer with this song I don't know where I'm going but I know Take a moment's silence for our dear departed souls And let's fly our flags at half their mast As another young man goes The laughter of the children supplanted by the rolling ghosts And another tide surrenders to a far and foreign told Mom I'd stay close to the cousins who beat the path from our front door one right after the other and they won't be back no more but the thing I think I fear the most she whispered in my ear is being the last flower in the garden with no one left to care so I Cast my leaving shadow and I'll be Canadian but distance won't decide what matters to the hard rocks loving son and when I'm thinking of St. John's I'll bring her closer with this song I don't